Why can't we explain consciousness? Consciousness remains one of the most perplexing and fascinating mysteries of human existence. Despite millennia of philosophical inquiry and decades of scientific research, we still cannot adequately explain what consciousness is, how it arises, or why it exists. This enigmatic quality of the mind, which allows us to experience the world, form subjective thoughts, and possess self-awareness, continues to defy our understanding. To unravel this puzzle, we must delve into the realms of philosophy, neuroscience, and cognitive science, each of which sheds light on the issue but fails to provide definitive answers. Philosophically, consciousness has been a topic of intense debate since ancient times. Early thinkers like Plato and Aristotle pondered the nature of the mind and its relationship to the body. Later, during the 17th century, Rene Descartes famously articulated the dualistic perspective, asserting that the mind and body are distinct entities. According to this view, consciousness resides in a non-material mind, separate from the physical brain. While this perspective shaped much of Western thought, it created a conceptual divide that persists to this day. The so-called mind-body problem questions how a non-material mind can influence a physical body and vice versa. This dualistic framework, while influential, has been challenged by materialist perspectives that argue consciousness arises entirely from physical processes in the brain. Yet, even materialism has not succeeded in fully explaining consciousness, as it struggles to account for subjective experience, often referred to as the hard problem of consciousness. The hard problem of consciousness, a term coined by philosopher David Chalmers, highlights the difficulty of explaining why and how physical processes in the brain give rise to subjective experiences. While neuroscience has made remarkable strides in identifying the neural correlates of consciousness, the brain activities associated with conscious states it does not answer why these activities are accompanied by a sense of awareness. For example, neuroscientists can identify which parts of the brain are active when a person experiences pain, but they cannot explain why pain feels the way it does or why it feels like anything at all. This gap between objective observations and subjective experience underscores the limitations of our current scientific approaches. Part of the difficulty in explaining consciousness lies in its inherently subjective nature. Unlike other scientific phenomena, consciousness cannot be directly observed or measured. We can study brain activity, behavior, and physiological responses, but the conscious experience itself is accessible only to the individual experiencing it. This creates a profound challenge for empirical investigation as scientists must rely on self-reports and indirect measures to study something as intangible as consciousness. Moreover, because consciousness is deeply personal and varies from individual to individual, developing a universal framework to explain it becomes even more challenging. Another reason we struggle to explain consciousness is that we may lack the appropriate conceptual tools and scientific paradigms. Throughout history, Scientific breakthroughs have often required paradigm shifts radical changes in how we view the world. For example, the understanding of gravity required a shift from Aristotelian physics to Newtonian mechanics and later to Einstein's theory of relativity. Similarly, some scientists and philosophers suggest that explaining consciousness may require a fundamentally new way of thinking one that transcends the current boundaries of neuroscience and philosophy. Until such a paradigm shift occurs, our efforts to understand consciousness may remain incomplete. Furthermore, consciousness may be inherently irreducible, meaning it cannot be broken down into simpler components or fully explained by examining its parts. This perspective is advocated by proponents of panpsychism, which posits that consciousness is a fundamental feature of the universe much like space, time, or matter. According to this view, consciousness does not emerge from complex arrangements of matter, but exists at all levels of reality, albeit in varying degrees. While panpsychism offers an intriguing perspective, it raises as many questions as it answers, such as how individual conscious experiences combine to form the unified awareness we experience as human beings. The quest to explain consciousness also touches on profound existential and ethical questions. 
Understanding the nature of consciousness could revolutionize fields such as artificial intelligence, medicine, and ethics. For instance, if we could determine whether machines or animals are conscious, it would have significant implications for how we treat them. However, without a clear understanding of what consciousness is, we are left grappling with these issues in a state of uncertainty. In conclusion, the inability to explain consciousness stems from its complexity, subjectivity, and the limitations of our current scientific and philosophical frameworks. While we have made significant progress in understanding the brain and its functions, the essence of consciousness remains elusive. Perhaps the mystery of consciousness is not something to be solved, but a reminder of the profound depth and wonder of human existence. As we continue to explore this enigma, we may discover not only more about consciousness, but also more about ourselves and our place in the universe.